once again welcome back to the english e learning platform dear students in today's session we are discussing about question answers and grammar part of the lesson strong and brave okay so in the previous class you have learned the lesson strong and brave so today we are going to discuss question answers oral question answers read and answer think and answer learn new words and uh, grammar part okay so let me start the uh, session now so dear students open the page number 14 and get ready with the pencil okay to mark the answer okay so here in the oral questions in the first one do you think roof gods mr roy's house well so do you think roof it is the name of the uh, dog correct no so is it or does it god mr roy's house well yes the answer is yes roof gods mr roy's house well so this is the answer for the first question and the second question do you want to eat apples from mrs puri's garden so these are the applied questions okay so you have to think and answer here so do you want to eat apples from mr mrs puri's garden so if you want you can write yes i want to eat apples from mrs puri's garden if you don't want just write no i don't want no i don't want to eat apples from mrs puri's garden so that's all so this is the answer for the second question and let us go to the read and answer it okay so in that first one write two words to describe roof so you have to describe roof how is he how was he okay so roof is strong and brave so here strong and brave are the describing words we said describe describing words so these words tell us these words tell us the qualities of a noun okay the qualities of the dog okay roof so the answer of the first one is roof is strong and brave that's all okay then the second one who sells ice cream so can you remember which i taught you in the previous class who sells ice cream do you know yes bholu sells ice cream stay that's all bholu sells ice cream b h o l u bholu i c e i sorry s e w l s sells bholu sells ice cream that's all okay so this is the answer of the second one and the third one who has a small and clean shop so do you know who has a small and clean shop okay i thought that you did not forget okay what you learned in the previous class okay so here daya is sorry daya has a small and clean shop so has a uh, who has a small and clean shop daya has a clean and small shop here so what he was what he is he is a cobbler correct no he is a cobbler then fourth one who has a new bag do you know who has a new bag who has a new blue new blue bag do you know yes parul okay parul has a new bag okay what is the color of that bag blue the bag is in blue why does she like that uh, why does she purchase the blue bag because she loves blue color so that's why she purchased a new blue bag okay then fourth one okay fourth one over and the fifth one that is the last one who is hema's friend who is hema's friend what is the color of her eyes so here 
who is emma's friend so there are two questions are there here okay so at the time you have to answer for these two question who is emma's friend and second what is the color of her eyes okay so here who is emma's friend annie a n n i e annie is emma's friend annie is emma's friend and continuing what is the color of her eyes she has brown hair and black eyes okay only they ask only only eyes no so you can write only eyes she has black eyes she has black eyes okay she has brown hair and black eyes you can also write like this no problem okay and let us go to the next main that is the think and answer think and answer so dear students get ready with the pencil here okay you have to take the answers in the boxes okay so here first one daya is a cobbler what does daya make so the first question daya is a cobbler okay what does daya make so what is the profession prof prof profession of cobbler so option clothes does he make clothes cobbler makes clothes no furniture does daya make furniture being a cobbler no okay shoes does he make cobbler sorry does he make shoes yes daya is a cobbler what does daya make daya makes shoes okay so the option c is correct shoes why means the cobbler means a person who mends or who repairs shoes or sandals or chappals okay we say he or she is a cobbler okay so shoes the daya makes shoes so the option c is the right uh, right answer so tick the right mark here okay let me tick here here okay with your pencil and second one why do you think parul likes her new bag okay the second question is why do you think parul likes her new bag option a she loves blue color so why do you think parul likes her new bag she loves blue color b her old bag is torn c her new bag is big so which one is correct which option is a correct option so option a is a correct one okay correct answer here she loves blue color why means she purchased a new bag so the bag is in blue okay so she loves blue color so she purchased her uh, uh she likes her new bag okay so this is the answer okay tick the right mark to the a option and the third one it is a question what color leaves do apple trees have so what color leaves do apple trees have so do you know what is the color of the apple trees leaves the leaves of the apple trees do you know s yes. green correct no so you can write here green color leaves sorry or apple trees have apple trees have green leaves okay this is the answer apple trees have green leaves okay then the fourth one this is a value corner so value based question it is so you have to read the question and answer on your own so here your friend saves a small puppy puppy means uh, baby uh, what do you say dog okay a baby dog is called puppy so who is about to fall down from stairs this act shows that your friend is say so what happens so one of your friends saves a small puppy so that puppy is about to fall down from stairs okay steps okay so he save it and this shows so the, this act shows that your friend is how is your friend so a strong b brave c helpful d all of this all of this means this three so strong brave helpful so which one is is best options okay which one how is your friend okay your friend is strong or your friend is brave or your friend is helpful or d all of these all of this means your friend is strong brave and helpful so here the d option is correct all of these 
so your friend saves your friend saves a small puppy who is about to fall down from stairs so he is a strong correct now and brave and also helpful okay so option d is the right one so tick the right uh, tick the correct answer to the option d one okay and uh, let me uh, switch on the next slide that is the page number 15 so here learn new words circle the words given in the boxes to describe the pictures given alongside so there are two pictures has been given here so each picture has describing words here lazy brave small strong and here big clean small dirty so look at the picture and find the correct describing word which is came in the uh, lesson okay so here so it is the roof so what can be best we can describing it so lazy roof is lazy no does roof brave yes so brave roof is brave so as you learned in the previous class okay so let me erase it oh my god okay uh, let me select another color here okay brave roof is brave so circle the word brave okay with your pencil and strong see roof is brave and strong so in the first question only it has been came so it has been given so write two words are write two words describing the roof so you have answered roof is strong and brave so strong and brave are the describing words so these two describing words describe the noun so which is in the subject place that is called uh, roof roof is the name of dog correct no so roof is brave and strong so you can also circle the word strong so brave and strong okay and let us go to the next picture so he uh, you know that his name is daya and uh, his profession is making okay new pair of shoes are repairing shoes or chapels or sandals so we can say he is a cobbler okay so here there are four describing words big clean small dirty so how is his shop how is daya's shop here so his shop is clean correct no so let me select another color that is the green okay clean daya's shop is clean so circle the uh, what do we say describing word with your pencil clean and small okay s m a double l small so daya is a sorry daya has a small and clean shop okay so small and clean are the describing words so which describes his job his shop okay and let us go to the next main look at the pictures and write the names of the animals in the boxes you may use the help box for clues so there is a, it has been given a picture so it contains some animals this picture contains some animals so also in the box there are some clues so with the help of these clues and you can write in the space given in these pictures okay what animals those are okay so elephant rabbit dog bird and kangaroo okay these are the names of animals so, so find out those animals in this picture and write with your pencil okay so here do you think which animal is it so you know that okay everybody knows so it is yes, it is elephant so do you know the spelling of elephant e l e p h a n t okay you can write in this box here so i try to write here e l e oh my god oh my handwriting is not good so i am unable to write here okay e l E P H A N T. Okay. A N 
T. So you write neatly, dear students, in this box. Okay, elephant. Okay, and the next one. So here, look at this picture. There is thing flying in the sky. It has uh, some basket. Okay, in uh, uh, its mouth. Do you think what is it? S. It is bird. Okay, bird. B I R D. Bird. Okay. So in this space, in this box, you can write the word bird. B I. Read and write. Okay. B I R D. B I R D. Okay. Bird. And the next one. So you think that it is a rabbit. Okay. Rabbit. So R A B B I T. Rabbit. You can write here. Rabbit. R A B B I T. Okay. Hmm. Then. So, do you think, my dear students, uh, which animal is it? Uh, it is kangaroo. Okay, kangaroo. So you can write here K A. Oh, my handwriting is not good, my dear students. So I'm so sorry. So you try to write very neatly in your textbook. Okay. Hmm. Kangaroo. Okay. And the last one, I think so. Okay. Yes. So do you think which animal is it? Yes, it is a dog. Okay, dog. Oh, I select the right color here. D O G. Okay, dog. D O G. Dog. So here you have found five animals: elephant, bird, um, rabbit, kangaroo, and dog. Okay. Now let us go to the next page. That is the page number seventeen. Okay. So here, see, find the letter, find the letter, there is a sentence in that file, you have to find the letter which is missed, that letter you have to write here. So I am in the word pink, I am in the word pink, so the pink there is, it's saying I am in the word pink, pink means P-I-N-K, so there is that letter in the pink, okay, P-I-N-K, and but not in ink, but not in ink. So, dear students, it's saying that I am in the letter pink. So, that letter is in the word pink, P-I-N-K. But it is not in the, that letter not in the ink. So, which letter has it missed here in this uh, word ink? Yes, P has been missed. Correct, no? So, you can write here the letter P, capital letter P. Oh my God. I'm unable to write. Let me see. P you can write here, okay? So, P has been missed here. So, P. Okay. And let us go to the next main. That is write. Writing skills. Write one sentence each about three of your friends. You can choose from the words in the box or use your own. Okay. So, friendly, tall, short, kind, beautiful, quiet, shy, brave. See, dear students, write one sentence each about three of your friends. You can choose from the words in the boxes. Okay, how is your friend? So you have to choose. Okay, one uh, about three of your friends. Okay, one sentence. Choose and from your boxes. Okay, so this is on your own basis. And uh, B1, fill in the blanks to make riddles. Use words given in the box. See a first one. So there is a helping box here. Elephant, long, fat, big, white. So with the help of these words, you can fill here. Okay. I am a dash animal. I am a dash animal. So what type of animal it is? Yes, it is big. So there is an option here. B-I-G, big. Okay. So I am a big animal. So dear students, you can write B-I-G, big. Then... I have a dash trunk. So he has a trunk. He has a long trunk. So you can write here L O N L O N G long. So I have a long trunk. I am a big animal. I have a long trunk and my legs are big and dash. So which uh, 
word can you can you choose here so it is better to choose fat okay my legs are big and fat have you seen elephants legs is fat okay f a t fat then i have two dash tusks i have two dash tusks so here these are the tusks okay what we say tusks so any uh, elephants tusks so what is the color of this tusks s yes, white so you can write here i have two white tusks w h i t e okay w h i t e huh? okay then i am an dash animal i am an elephant who is he it is an elephant okay it is an elephant you can write here okay hmm. then let us go to the next picture so i think it is apple correct now yes juicy green red many apples so with the help of these words you can fill in the blanks okay how you have done in the in this b main in the first one okay so i am dash i am dash i grow on trees i am dash and dash so what can be filled here i am red and juicy okay you can write here i am red r e d okay red and juicy j u i dear students i am unable to it's not comfort uh, I, uh, i feel it's uh, not comfort comfortable for me to write here so you can write here huh? j u i c e juice sorry j u i c y juicy i am right i am juicy i grow on trees okay then my tree has dash leaves my tree has dash leaves so here my tree has dash leaves so what uh, what uh, what are the color what is the color of the leaves of uh, this tree yes right sorry green correct no g r e e n my tree has green leaves so you can write here g r e e n green leaves okay then i have dash seeds so it has many seeds so you can write here i have m a n y many seeds so who is it what is it i am an apple so in the last uh, space you can write the name of the fruit what is that that is apple a p p e apple okay my dear students and let us go to the next page ho oh, that is grammar part so dear students open the page number hmm. yes 43 43 the below of the page strong and sorry bottom of the page strong and there you can see a lesson heading that is the strong and brave okay so today you are going to learn describing words so we said adjectives okay so today's grammar topic is describing words in other hand we can say adjectives so look at the pictures and read the sentences so here first read the sentence then let me explain okay the flower is right so the flower is right tea is hot okay tea is hot then rena is tall she is rena okay rena is tall rita is short right the donkey is thin the donkey is thin the cow is fat so dear students as you write this sentences so here uh, the flower is red so red is you know which is in the red color so red is a describing word or we can say adjective so why do we say the word red is a describing word or adjective do you know so the red is you know this adjective describes the noun that is flower how is a flower then we can say sir the flower is red so the answer here is right so 
द राइट इज नो इट डिस्क्राइब्स द नाउ सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स द वर्ड फ्लावर सो वी से राइट इज अ describing word have you understood and here t is hot t is hot how is t how is the t yes the t is hot so hot is you know hot is the word it is a describe okay it is a describing word it describes the t how is it okay it describes the t how is it whether it is cold or hot okay so hot is a describing word and rena is tall so here rena is tall how is rena rena is tall so tall is a tall it tells us something about rena so the tall is a describing word it tells us something about rena okay then rita is short so she is rita okay rita is short so short is the no it is describing word which is in a red color okay short is a describing word it tells us something about rita how is rita rita is short okay then the donkey is thin so as you looking at this picture so it is thin okay the donkey is thin the cow is fat so here the donkey is thin so thin is a describing word it tells how the donkey is how Uh, the condition of the what is the condition of the donkey now okay and the fat the cow is fat fat is also describing word so it tells us something about cow so how what is the position of the cat right now okay so these red hot tall short thin fat these are the we say describing words so describing words means the words which describes are the words which tells us something something about noun so we say describing word or adjective okay so for example uh, uh, ravi is happy ravi is happy so in this word happy so in the sentence happy is a de describing word it is a an adjective okay happy how is ravi ravi is happy so happy describing the word ravi okay so let me switch on the next uh, page so that is the page number 44 dear students turn the page number 44 okay here the words in right color tell us something about the naming words so the words the words Uh, which are in red color these words tell us something about naming words naming words means the flower t is rena is rita is the donkey the cow is there these are the naming words okay they describe the naming words so they describe they tell something uh, about naming words so we say describing words so they are called describing words or adjective anta kariti so we say and look at these pictures so students so get ready with the pencil look at the pictures and fill in the blanks to describe them so look at this picture and describe them you only this bag is blue okay what is the color of the bag blue so you can write here b l u e blue this bag is blue so blue is the describing word how is the bag the bag is blue okay it describes the naming word that is this bag bag and second one the shirt is look at this shirt something uh, mixed colors it is there on, on it so it looks like a dirty okay it looks uh, filthy so this shirt is dirty we can say dirty is a describing word so how is the shirt shirt is dirty so you can write here d i r t y okay my so d i r t y sorry 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 my dear students uh, here yeah, i should write blue here okay b l u e b l u e here dirty you can write here d i r t y okay then you can the elephant is dash how is the elephant yes the elephant is big big is also describing word big but the mouse is 
so when you compare between two things here mouse and between uh, between mouse and elephant so the mouse is small okay yes m a double l yes m a double l so big and small are the describing word and here the boy who is on the bed and uh, he is holding in his mouth something that is i think thermometer i think that is okay so the boy is dash so the boy is i think he is unhealthy so he is ill or sick so you can write here the boy is sick okay he is not in well condition the boy is sick so how is the boy boy is sick so sick is there no it is a describing word okay it is an adjective so it describes the word uh describes how is the boy okay so dear students so this is uh, this much is the uh, today's uh, session so today we have learned uh, you have discussed uh, the question answers and uh, grammar part of the second lesson that is uh, what is that brave and strong brave and strong strong and brave okay so i hope you have learned or you have understood uh, very well and dear students uh, after posting this video after posting this video i will send this lessons uh, key answers okay key answers uh, through the whatsapp so you must watch this video okay you must watch this video video and copy the uh, read and write those question and answers in a notebook neatly okay so i hope you have understood well thank you everyone have a nice day